girl named Belle from Colorado Springs. She's 14 years old. She lives with cancer. And she approached the Make-A-Wish Foundation here in Colorado, and she had a wish. She has a great wish of wanting her own robotic pet. So she loves dragons, loves lizards and birds, and draws dragons and stuff, uh, reads dragon books, plays dragon games. Um, so her wish was centered around dragons. I always wanted a dragon, and apparently they don't exist, some people say. So I thought, well, this can probably only happen by Make-A-Wish. So I'm like, hey, can you make me a dragon, please? So Belle had a wish um, to have a dragon. She loves dragons, and when she was impacted by a critical illness, um, you know, she could have wished for anything, and she wished to have her imagination come to life. Who says dragons don't exist? So when I started with Make-A-Wish and found out we needed a dragon from scratch, certainly that was a, um, an issue that only technology could solve. We tried to do what we do every day at Arrow. She needed a technology solution, and we put together literally a global consortium to deliver that solution to her. And she had a very clear idea of what she wanted her dragon to be and to look like and how it would behave. I'm here to talk about what my robotic dragon is gonna look like. It's really just to bring the joy that she finds in dragons just from reading those books and playing those games and now bring it into a more life-sized model just for her. Then I have a, another Wings of Fire book. That's the one I kinda want it to look like. The Silk Wing. The Silk Wing. I would like it to be playful and like very energetic. Taking somebody else's ideas is like having our own blueprint to work off of, which is great because this is brand new technology, right? So this has not been done before, and if it has been done, it's never been this big. The team that worked on this composed of a lot of electrical and artists and mechanical engineers to pull the full dragon together. Building the boards and wiring up boards is one thing, but to try and get it to stick within such a sculpture is a whole nother feat in itself. Oh, and this one is kind of the colors. I want this is kind to of be. the cover one, yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Not only are there wires and screws and gears and motors and servos, but there's also a whole bunch of parts and components and customized boards that we built together as a team to make the dragon work the way that it does, to give it the feature sets that it needed. There is so much inside of this dragon. We've got quite a few parts from analog devices and some of the vision um, capabilities with the NXP vision board. The whole thing about this dragon is just innovative, all custom. With a lot of help from good partners, together this whole consortium of companies and designers and engineers and vendors and artists came together to create a one-of-a-kind social robot. Two years of labor and love. Um, it's Belle's wish to have a dragon. We could not have done this without the expertise and the support of Arrow. The fact that she wanted a robotic dragon to be robust and to last as long as it can, to be that companion for her, to be able to build this for her, for someone who's more than deserving of such a project. You can see by looking at the dragon that they have, through technology, animated a character. Here. Just to see the behavior and the personality, I would say that it has, um, is amazing. If you, if you look at the picture of what was in Belle's mind, and then you take a look at this dragon, it's, it's, it's perfect. Three feet long, two feet high, 17 pounds of technology that makes somebody's life. It's as close to a dragon can be. Love it.